So I wanted to create a video on this situation that can occur where you have slightly higher blood glucose, but you're still in ketosis, okay? Because normally the way it works is you have high sugar and low ketones, high ketones and low sugar. But what happens sometimes is your blood glucose might go up, but you're still in ketosis. So why does that happen? But before I tell you that, let me just get into why you might have high sugar uh, doing keto, okay? Excessive protein for dinner tonight could create a spike in blood sugar the next day. Okay, that's one thing. So make sure you have a moderate amount of protein. Number two, carb creep. You start adding more carbs unknowingly, and when you have to kind of look at them and reevaluate, you're like, wow, I'm doing too many carbohydrates. So that could be a situation. And then frequent meals, you're doing too many snacks. That'll do it. Or your cortisol is too high. So when people go through stress, okay, they're gonna have higher levels of cortisol. The peak time of cortisol happens about eight o'clock in the morning. So if you're actually checking your um, blood glucose in the morning at eight o'clock and find that it's pretty high, it could be from the cortisol that is being spiked because your body's going through some stress or something. But typically for everyone, it'll be slightly higher. It shouldn't be that much, but it would be slightly higher. Nothing to worry about, but just make note of that. But here's what happens. When you actually do a healthy keto plan, and you're doing intermittent fasting, you are lowering insulin. Now remember, insulin uh, suppresses blood sugars. It pushes blood sugars down. So now we don't have the quantity of insulin, but we still may have insulin resistance because that takes a while to, to correct in the body. So if we have lower amounts of insulin and insulin resistance, your blood sugar might go up a little bit more. Okay, but you'll still be in ketosis. So you might still like show like uh, 1.0 or 1.2, 1.5 in your ketone levels uh, and have blood sugars that are 90 to 105. Uh, that's totally normal. It's just gonna take uh, time for this to heal and then you'll see it'll come down. It's basically, all that means is you're in a transition phase and it's nothing to worry about. So as long as you're feeling good, you have a lot of energy and everything is good, I would not worry about it at all. But I just wanted to point out this fact, um, this can happen and uh, it's because the insulin's going down, but you still have insulin resistance, which does take a bit to actually correct that. All right, thanks for watching. So we've been getting a lot of success stories, but I don't have your success story yet. So click the link down below and upload your before and after. I wanna actually hear about your success story. I wanna see your before and afters. And every week we do featured success stories. So click the link down below and share your success.